Hello my soccer universe! There has been one particular team from La Liga that I have been after for now two years where they have released in both seasons what is probably my favorite La Liga jersey and earlier this year I almost thought I had it and then they contacted me, yeah they don't. And so I said okay not gonna happen but by scrolling over will happen I found a jersey of the team, not one of the ones from the last two seasons. Unfortunately, I'm still very much after that one, but one that is quite remarkable. And I said, let's get it. So it has just arrived. And here we go. The team is, of course, Rayo Vallecano, as you might have guessed. And I have to say, I was very, very, very intrigued. When I saw this one, this was almost a no-brainer. I said I have to strike right now because unfortunately Rio shirts are really not that easy to come by, especially around here in Austria. But even within Spain, from what I hear, they're not that easy at all because Rio is not a very well organized club. So here we go. The jersey, it is not, since I'm wearing a red and white, it's not a home jersey. It's an away jersey, but quite a special one. I must add, this is from the 15-16 season, the away jersey, very much in the vein of the Stuttgart jersey that I recently bought. When I saw it, I immediately liked it and it's very much in Rayo's favor, being a very left-leaning club with um, very socially conscious uh, fans. It's a gorgeous shirt, absolutely. Same goes on, on the back, we have the sash going back and front. We also have the rainbow pattern on the sleeves, of course, La Liga patch coming with it. This is going to make a splash when I talk about La Liga and Mexico. It's definitely going to make a splash in my collection. And it's another sashed jersey. I really, really, really would like to have the one where they have the red and the white one with the flash lightning bolt going over. But for now, this is a really good substitute. Voila, here it is. It's only my second ever Kelma jersey. First one was Espanyol, who unfortunately got relegated. So we still have Kelma for the 23-24 season on my wall. Uh, the other thing is it's a rather stretchy jersey, uh, but I think I will have to try and I will put in a comment. It should actually fit quite nicely, but I, I really love the way this is done. Also with the light blue going around, although shouldn't it be purple? Maybe. Well, or red, but you know, not complaining. It's gorgeous. Now, the one thing is, of course, the guy who sold it to me, and I'm very positive. I mean, he immediately, he almost immediately sent it. It took a day to get to me, Viable Hub, which is a rarity. This guy was really, really, really fast uh, sending it from Vienna. The last name, I'm not going to say it, uh, definitely says that he's from the former Yugoslav republics. And that is the only flaw that I have, but one that I can get rid of. It smells a little bit like smoke. And I don't like stereotyping, but we all know that in the Balkans, smoking is still very much a thing. So this is maybe the one downside. But hey, I paid a total of 20 euros for this one. And then I can take a smoke jersey. This will go on the balcony. I will put it in the wash within two days. It will smell like new, like other jerseys that I have gotten uh, before in that particular condition. But you know, small complaint, but those are the things that you have to live with. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, see more videos like these. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day. Bye!